the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Big kick land. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful leg kick throw. Great punch. And just misses with that big right hand. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth, the full-on brawl. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's gonna take that one shot that finishes the fight. All right, single collar tie now. Ooh. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, elbow to the head in the clinch. That one landed flush by Choi. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And there comes the separation now. Just misses there with the left. Got the single collar tie. Big call from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just out of range with the big right hand. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, big uppercut there. Didn't get the knockdown, but that is a significant strike. A very significant strike. And now his opponent may start to drop the hands to block the uppercut. So look for him to throw something else now up top. Good punch lands. Trying to get the knees going. Oh, nice right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by the Korean Super Bowl. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice move to punch. Straight right hand, no good. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, nice straight punch there. It must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. And both guys really throwing with authority. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice his size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Good series of strikes. Oh, beautiful. Right, so a near perfect entry there. And finally, he gets his first takedown of the fight. And they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Was able to get him down. There. Persistence pays. And that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns. He tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do? with this top security. 10 seconds to go. Oh. 
Five minutes in the books. All right, you're doing great, okay? I want more of the same. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp, don't get relaxed. So wherever we're at. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's go. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. They continue to exchange. Big body kick land. Oh, that's a good right hand. Nice kick. Right hand punch to the clinch. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Nice straight punch. Oh, Superman punch. Real quick leg kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chance. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guards. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Both fighters back to their feet now. Trying the flying knee there. Just over three minutes to go now. Right hand on point. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Head kick lands. Another clinch position. Wow. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Blocks that strike. Oh, nice. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Choi. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can... Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he needs to start looking for finish now because he's got to be very back. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh! Back to the feet. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing 
that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Head kick. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Missed with that attempt. Fighter's pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Choice back in half goal. And really starting to make these shots count. Side control. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Strong pot of work here, staying busy. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Spinning back fist. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really, that one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. That one snuck in. Nice strike. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Wow! Oh, unbelievable. Back mount now. Fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Going up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Lands the right hand. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Whiffs on the straight right hand. That is unbelievable, John. Well, let's take a look back at the 
replay, it ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop in this contest at three minutes, 14 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout?